Kingdom of Bhutan is a landlocked country in the eastern Himalayas, bordered by Tibet to the north and India to the south. Peru International Airport is its only international airport, and Druk Air is its flag carrier. Bhutan is the only carbon negative country in the world due to its protected forest and its policy of planting trees in areas with no previous tree cover. It is also the only country in the world to measure its development using the Gross National Happiness Index instead of the Gross Domestic Product. It places a huge importance on a culture based on values instead of materialism. is a historic town with many sacred sites and historical buildings scattered throughout the area. It is one of the widest valleys in Bhutan and its picturesque landscape is covered in fertile rice fields with a beautiful crystalline river meandering down the valley. Zongs were built as fortresses to serve as religious and administrative centers. All zongs are based on the same layout, but each has its own unique design. They're often built atop steep ridges, outlook points, or between fast flowing rivers to provide a striking landmark for a valley. Bhutan's architecture has mainly followed the Tibetan tradition of Buddhist architecture. From Buddhist temples to monasteries and stupas, prayer wheels are turned clockwise to release prayers and mantras into the heavens. Ringpung Zong is one of the finest examples of Bhutan architecture, with a complex of temples, courtyards, and offices surrounded by towering walls. It is built right on the edge of a hillside, overlooking one of the most scenic sections of Paris. Shula Pass is a mountain pass with 108 memorial churches or stupas and a magnificent view of the snow-covered Himalayas.
Punaka was the capital of Bhutan and the seat of government until 1955, when the capital was moved to Timbu. Sacred Jimmy Lakan, also known as the Fertility Temple, is a revered place of magic and miracles. Punaka Zong is the second oldest and second largest Zong in Bhutan and one of its most majestic structures. Sum Yuli Namgyal Chorten was built in 1990 under the instruction of the Queen Mother. It stands on a ridge above the Punaka Valley. It was designed to ward off negative forces and to bring peace and harmony in Bhutan.
Thimphu is the capital and largest city of Bhutan. It is also Bhutan's mini metropolis with its shopping complexes, monasteries, and chalet-like apartment buildings. The Great Buddha of Dordenma is a huge statue in Timpu, measuring almost 52 meters in height. It is made of bronze and is overlaid in gold. 125,000 little Buddha statues were put inside it. The National Memorial Chorten is a large white structure with a golden spire on top. It is one of Bhutan's most iconic religious landmarks. It is the focus of daily worship for many Bhutanese. The Takin is a heavily built hoofed animal with horns like a wildebeest, a nose like a moose, tail like a bear and a body like a bison. It is Bhutan's national animal. The Shitsu Zong, or Fortress of the Glorious Religion, is a Buddhist monastery and fortress on the northern edge of Timpu. It currently serves both as a monastery and a seat of government since 1952. It presently houses the throne room and offices of the king, the secretariat, and the ministries of home affairs and finance. No trip to Bhutan will be complete without seeing the Tiger's Nest Monastery. It is a sacred Buddhist site on a cliffside of the upper Paro Valley. It consists of four main temples and residential shelters. A total of eight caves are encased by the structure, and only four of them are easily accessible. Due to its location, the only way to get to it is by hiking around two miles uphill with an elevation gain of around 1,700 feet and a maximum elevation of 10,232 feet. There is, however, a cafeteria at the halfway point where hikers can eat and rest. In order to preserve its ecosystem and natural resources, Bhutan has adopted a controlled tourism policy. Hence, visitors can only book their vacation through a Bhutanese tour operator or one of their international partners.